Gamma rays may sound like the stuff of science fiction, but here at Nova Healthcare in the Bexley Wing at St James's University Hospital in Leeds, doctors are using them to treat tumours and other brain diseases for the first time in West Yorkshire. Retired insurance broker John Langford is about to become the first person in the region to undergo surgery using a £3 million gamma knife, a revolutionary piece of equipment that targets tumours in the head without the need for invasive surgery. The 65-year-old from Leeds has been suffering from deteriorating hearing for five years, and a recent scan found the cause was a growing benign tumour. After being fitted with a special frame, John undergoes an MRI scan which then enables the surgeons to plan the procedure in precise detail. Neurosurgeon Stuart Ross explains what the planning procedure is all about and why it is so vital. So what we have to do in the planning procedure is first of all to map out the tumour and where that lies inside the head. That is done with respect to the frame that we have put on his head as a temporary procedure and that, that allows the computers to map exactly where the tumour is. Then we can plot how we want the radiation to land on the tumour so that we can destroy all parts of it but at the same time trying to protect the nearby important structures in the brain. The planning stage gives John the opportunity to prepare for what lies ahead and explain why he was so willing to become the first to benefit from the technology in Leeds. The tumour was growing and had been monitored for three years and we decided it was continuing to grow and it was down to go to Sheffield and instantly I heard that the facility was here and then I was straight on saying the people in Leeds are so much nicer, so wonderful and attentive and thoughtful that it would be much better for me to be dealt with here. Elector's Perfection Gamma Knife has been brought to Leeds to serve both NHS and private patients across the region and further afield. Dr Paul Hatfield, consultant oncologist at St James's, describes how the technology works. The Gamma Knife is um, a specially developed piece of equipment to deliver radiation to a very small volume inside the brain with great precision. It's different from standard radiotherapy equipment in that it focuses 190 odd beams of radiation all at a very precise target inside the brain and we can be very accurate because of the uh, frame that's put onto the patient for treatment which holds the head absolutely still and makes that treatment extremely accurate and the advantage of the patient to that is that we minimize the dose to the rest of the brain, the normal brain, as much as we possibly can. But at the same time, we can give a very high dose to the target, which is the thing that we want to treat. So a standard course of radiotherapy to a brain tumor would often take five or six weeks to deliver. A gamma knife doesn't need to be fractionated uh, because the delivery of the radiation is so much more precise uh, that the actual delivery technique spares the surrounding normal brain. And the main reason for giving lots of little doses is to spare the normal brain tissue around your tumour. So for particular types of brain tumour, it's an ideal um, option because the treatment can be done in one day, which is clearly much less inconvenient for a patient than coming day after day for, for weeks. John is placed on the gamma knife while the surgeons and radiographers carry out the procedure in an adjoining room, speaking to him throughout the 30 minute process. Just just the last little of, bit, John, so we've got another about five minutes around, left, okay? The Gamma Knife has been brought to Leeds courtesy of a unique partnership between Nova Healthcare and the NHS. Nova Chief Executive Kerry Jackson describes the advantages of the partnership arrangement. The, the Trust and Nova Healthcare are working closely together that we, to make sure that we can deliver absolutely excellent services for private patients that we see coming through this, this unit and for the NHS patients who will also come through the Gamma Knife. What we want patients to see is a, a seamless service and actually a range of services will be provided by Nova Healthcare and the overall administration and management of the services will be done by Nova Healthcare. But the Trust is providing a lot of the expertise into our services and a lot of support services to us. So if we take the example of the Gamma Knife, we're providing services through Nova Healthcare under an Nova Healthcare management structure with Nova Healthcare nursing and support staff. But then the radiographers who will actually be delivering the treatment and the medical physicists who will be checking the treatment plans are trust employed staff and the consultants work both for the trust 
at periods of time and when they're doing these services they'll be working for Nova Healthcare so they absolutely span the two services. And some of the benefits of that for the patient are that they get these fantastic facilities of Bexley Wing and the integration of um, trust multidisciplinary team working and our access to that multidisciplinary team working. And also they get the benefits of, of a private provider and the, the added benefits, the enhanced environment that we provide. The type of partnership that we've got has been absolutely essential to, to delivering the Gamma Knife service. The NHS was not in a position to be able to invest in a Gamma Knife service and it's private finance that has enabled us to deliver a Gamma Knife service to this hospital working in partnership and for the benefit of both NHS patients and private patients. Well, I think it's fair to say that um, it's an expensive piece of equipment and it would have been very hard to fund uh, in any other way than the way that's been um, arranged with Nova Healthcare. So what that has enabled us to do is to provide this new facility and this option for patients that wouldn't have been there already and yet have it in the same building as all the other sorts of treatments are going on for our patients which means that the whole service can be integrated really well and without that partnership we wouldn't have had access to that piece of equipment. So as a clinician that gives me more options when I'm treating patients which is good for me and it's good for my patients. Uh, and for the trust it's good because they now have access to an extra facility as well which makes our institute that much more um, effective at treating patients. With the procedure over, all that remains is for medics to remove the special headgear and reunite John with his family, where he shows them a scan of the tumour. He then gives his reaction to the procedure. Fantastic. Yeah, no problems, no, no adverse effects, a little sensitive. Uh, around the uh, areas of the screws, but other than that, feel absolutely fine. Well, potentially there are a number of patients that will benefit, both patients that we already treat, but with more major surgery, so they can avoid surgery. But also there are some tumours that we don't currently treat, which might be treated by this method. Getting the gamma knife uh, gives us a whole range of new options uh, that we can offer our patients locally. Previously patients have had to travel long distances to have this sort of treatment and now for patients in this area they can have it locally and be home the same day and I think that's um, a huge advantage to them and as a clinician it gives me extra options when I'm seeing patients that I didn't previously have um, and so that's always an advantage because you can offer patients a wider range of choices. It's anticipated the Gamma Knife will be used to treat up to a dozen patients a week from across West Yorkshire, the north of England and even further afield. Less than an hour after his treatment, John is able to walk out of hospital, knowing that the knife that irradiated his tumour has done so without leaving a single scar. As far as he's concerned, science fiction has now become science fact.